Hey everyone, we're going to talk about OK Google Organize My Drive. So we're going to learn how to organize our drive today because it is the end of the year and we're going to learn some cleanup tricks so that way for next school year we're ready to roll and that we can get going on a good start. So the first tip is grid view versus list view. There's two different views that you're able to view a Google Drive document with. So here is the grid view option and there's list view. All you have to do is click this button up here and this can really help you kind of organize the way that you like to see Drive. So right here, I'm gonna click this button and I'm in list view and now I'm in grid view. I am team grid view, so let us know which one you like better. Maybe you like list view, but I again prefer the grid view. The second tip is the recent and starred folder. I can go over here and I can right click and I can star a document. So that means I can add a star to this document right here. And once I do that, if I go to these folders over here, it's going to pop up in my starred folder. I can see the document right here along with other documents that I like to star and open so it's easy to find. Also in the recents folder, these are activities that I've been working on today or currently. These allow me to quickly find resources for the different activities that I am currently working on or recently started. Again, starred are those most important documents that I might need throughout the school year. And again, you just right click and you hit add to starred. The next one is folders. With folders, they can really help you organize your drive. You can see here the different folders I have, and maybe I wanna create a new folder. I right click and click new folder, or I can go up here to the new and click folder, and I can write test. I can add this document to that folder. I can also add different documents inside the folder, and I can also remove them back if I needed to. So now in this test folder, I have two documents. I've got a folder, with a ton of different documents inside of it. And I also have my um, slide deck that I also created and added it to that test folder. Another really cool thing with Google Drive folders is I can do a right click, so two fingers, one click. I can change the color and I can change this color of the test folder. And so now it's green. I can also maybe um, change the color again if I wanted to. And you have all these different colored choices. So this way it sticks out in my drive so that I'm able to find these different resources in my Google Drive. Tip four is adding those colors. So we just talked about tip four and adding those different colors to help visualize that presentation and allow that color coding. So again, if I'm in my drive, two fingers, one click, I'm gonna change the color and I'm going to make it that purple color. And there is my color for my folder. The last tip is emojis. So emojis can be really fun and they can help um, organize your drive as well. Right here, it has an emoji. Also, I is not first in the alphabet. So what it does with an emoji is it brings it to the top of my drive for me to see. So if I'm going to test, I can go to um, rename and I can add an emoji. You can right click. And if you right click, um, you can find the emoji using your Chromebook and it will say like add emoji. You can also go to this website right here and I could click this world, copy it and I can paste it right here and I can hit okay. And now it's at the beginning of my drive and it has that globe on there. Thank you so much for joining us for this session on OK Google Organize My Drive and start to get organized. Create folders, organize your documents into folders. You might want to create whatever grade level you are at and take all those folders at, or all those documents and add them to that folder to help you clean up your drive. And don't forget to use these tips next school year.